The village I come from in India, it's located in Uttar Pradesh. It's called Muradev. Um, basically, we have a population of 200 people, so, but we don't have any centralized uh, garbage picking. So every household is responsible for maintaining uh, their own household's areas, as well as um, making sure the streets, uh, the major streets uh, are clean, kept clean in front of their houses. It's up to the individual whether to keep it clean or not. They try to recycle, but uh, still uh, there's a lot of waste right on the streets. Uh, you're passing it by every day. I observe in my village myself um, a lot of um, smoke inhalation um, where um, people became blind or had some kind of throat disease. In the city, like uh, Delhi or Bombay, because of the population, it's hard to control uh, the pollution there. From just observing, you can see that a lot of people Life expectancy is very low, so yeah, it does affect um, Indian health. The neighborhood I live in is Hamilton, and pollution has affected my neighborhood because there's a lot of trash in the in the streets. And like, if you look into um, the sewer, if you look down, you can like see a lot of trash, and it's just overall become a dirty, not so clean neighborhood. When I was eight years old, I witnessed a man um, throwing a cigarette inside a bush. It didn't burst in the flames, but I was a little worried it would. It just made me like feel like he just really doesn't. That person really didn't care. He really cared about the environment or what's going to happen to everybody else. He really just didn't care. I think I love it because it's kind of like everybody else doesn't care. So sometimes I think to myself, why should I care? I used to when I was younger, but now I understand more about pollution and littering and how it affects our environment, so I've stopped. The way that pollution is looking now in Baltimore, like nobody that you know really wants to be here. I'm from New York, the borough of Queens. Here in Baltimore, I notice you don't have anything when it comes to littering or pollution. I live in a complex and all my garbage goes in one big like container and that's it. There's no rules or nothing. You just throw it away and it's just gone. In my opinion, it's a little bit worse here. In New York, they're really trying to contain it because they have a, like I said, they recycle everything and if you don't, you're basically breaking the law when it comes to New York. Here, there is no law to sit there and say, you have to do it, not yet at least. It's really, there's no responsibility. No one's being held accountable for anything. It's just, we do what we do and then it is what it is at the end of the day. If people were held accountable for what they do, then maybe they'd actually start caring and actually start doing something about it, and then it might make things a little better. Keeping our community clean does give pride to the state itself, in my opinion. So, like I said, in New York, they do have a lot of pride in what they do. They have a lot of pride in certain things that go on in the community itself, because everybody basically is just kind of competing against each other. Here in Baltimore, I feel like the communities really don't work together. They kind of work against each other and kind of just make everybody just kind of torn down to the point where no one really cares about what's going on. Hey, this is DeAndre. I'm here with Nicole. We're going to ask her some questions about pollution today. First question. Are you going to sit there and do as New York State says, or are you going to sit there and pay the fines? So a lot of people like to save their money, so they're going to do what they have to do in order to save it.